the time, God is good. Isn't it good to be in the house of the Lord? Magnify the Lord. I came with expectation. How about you? I expect God to do something great in our lives tonight, great in this ministry tonight. I expect him to pour out wisdom and honor and anointing upon us. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just begin by lifting our hearts before the Lord. Father God, I just thank you for what you're going to do in us, through us, to us tonight, Lord. And we want to be a blessing back to you. We want to magnify and glorify your holy name. We want to take your word like it's the bread of life and just dine sumptuously on the word of God. We love your word so much. We love your presence so much, Lord. We just invite you in. We swing wide the doors of this tabernacle. We swing wide the doors of our body temple. And we say, come on in. Anoint us tonight. Anoint our ears to hear the word of the Spirit. Anoint our hearts to receive your word, Lord. Anoint us, Father God, with your mighty presence. We love you. We praise you. We adore you in Jesus' holy name. And we say, amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Let's worship the King.
we believe the word of the Lord. Whatever it may be, a health issue, a family issue, relationship issue, financial issue, when we put it in the hands of our Father, we can say it's done because he said the promises of God are yea, come on, say it, yea and amen to them who believe. One more time. The promises of God are yea and amen to them who believe. So we just lay it all down right now at his feet, amen? We, come on, we just lay it on. We surrender it to Jesus. Everything to him. I surrender all to you.
day of prayer and I want to pray for the nation I want to pray for a couple of things as sort of a warm up for tomorrow's prayer meeting we have noon and we have 7 at night prayer meeting 7.30 thank you sweetie and um, if you're comfortable sitting where you are if you want to come on down front with us no I, I don't want my front <coughs> folks to go come away come on down stay where you're at Stay where but you're if anybody at. else wants to come down as well <coughs> Got choked up there for a second. Yeah, Glory come on to God. Down. There's something when we corporately we're going to we're going to pray for the nation. Oh my God! And we're going to pray in the Spirit. And um, there's, there's powerful things that happen when you pray in the Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. So if we could just 
Just come before the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. We magnify you. Glory and honor to the King of Kings. Glory and honor to the Lord Jesus. We magnify you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. We humble ourselves and seek your face, Lord. We bless you. We magnify you. We glorify you. Glory and honor to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. We worship you, Lord. We bless 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 you, Lord. Glory and honor to your name. Glory and honor to your name. We love you, Lord. We praise you. And your word declares there's power in agreement that there's power in prayer. In fact, you said that the prayer of faith shall save the sick. You shall raise them up. Lord, we pray in faith because the prayer of faith is powerful to changing things. There's resurrection power in the prayer of faith. You raise up the sick, whether it's a sick body, whether it is a sick nation. Where you raise up, Lord. The resurrection power of God comes into the prayer of faith. So we pray by faith, Lord, tonight. We pray according to your word, Lord, tonight. We pray according to your will tonight, Lord. The prayer of faith shall change everything. Amen. Lord, we know prayer is fruitful. We know prayer is fruitful. You said, if my people will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, you'll heal the the land. You'll turn it around. You'll turn it around, Lord. We know there's power in prayer. This is not an idle thing. This is not just speaking to the wind. This is getting hold of the hem of your garment and feeling the power of God come into the earth, Lord. You said that we should pray, Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. We're to pray heaven into the earth. So we do it, Lord. We pray Your kingdom into the earth. Your God way of doing things, Your perfect will manifest in this land. Lord, we don't know the timetables. As you know the timetables, Lord, we stand upon prophecy. We stand upon your word, but we don't have full revelation. We trust in you, Lord God. But in this time, we don't know everything, but we know this, that there's power in prayer. We know this, that you desire to bless. And we know this, Lord, that we can vanquish the enemy, Lord, that we have power and authority over hell. We have power and authority over the devil and over demons. We got power and authority to topple their thrones. Oh, I thank you for it, Lord. I thank you that you have given us spiritual authority. I thank you, Lord, that you have given us the armaments by which to pray. 
that we're clothed from the top of our head to the bottom of our feet with the full armor of God, uh, having a shield of faith and a sword of the Spirit. Amen. I thank you, Lord, that we lack for, no, for nothing, Father God. We have authority in your name. So we, Grandview Church, tonight, Lord, here in this sanctuary at home by way of internet, Lord, we come into agreement in prayer in authority in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray in authority tonight, Lord, in the authority that you have given us as children of the living God, having a blood covenant with you, Lord. We pray in the authority, and we come against every antichrist spirit, Amen. every Amen. operation of hell, Amen. every principality, power, might, dominion, Jesus. every operation and strategy of hell. We bind it up right now. The powers of hell that are formed against the nation. We bind them up in the name of Jesus. We take authority over them in Jesus' name. And we declare this nation will serve God. This nation will bless you, Lord. This nation will be a lighthouse. This nation will be a launching pad for the gospel of Jesus Christ. This nation will be rooted and founded and grounded on the principles of Jesus Christ and the Word of God. And the love of God will be shed abroad on this land. And brotherly love will be shed abroad on this land land and unity will be found in this nation Lord this nation is a nation that is to glorify you Lord and the principles of God are to be manifest Amen. here Amen. we pray for the church Lord as a pastor I pray for pastors tonight Lord I pray for my brothers and sisters in the Lord that fill the pulpit or fill ministry whether it be in the street or in the church or uh, wherever it be Lord anoint us to preach the Word of God. Anoint us to preach the Word of God without fear, without reservation, Lord, that we would preach your Word, your, your Word, only your Word, not edited, not spliced, Lord, your whole counsel, the whole counsel of your Word, Lord. May the church of Jesus Christ rise up to be the church triumphant, and may the world realize that we are not pushovers, we're not wallflowers, we're not, Lord, we are warriors on the wall, not to be trifled with. We'll not back down, we'll not give up, we'll not give ground. We're here, we're here to see your kingdom ways established. I pray that there is a new Pentecostal wind blowing in the church of Jesus Christ throughout the earth today. I pray that every church that names the name of Jesus Christ has a Holy Ghost fire falling, wind blowing, river flowing, worship service, preaching service on Sunday morning, Lord. Let the power of God fall in the church again. Oh, I thank you, Lord, that the church is a voice that will not be silenced. The church is a voice that will not be quiet. The church will not be muzzled. The church will not be shushed. The church will cry out the gospel of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, that the church is rising up. The church is rising up. I said the church is rising up. And what the enemy has meant for harm, Lord, you're going to turn it to good. I thank you that the churches are filling up with God seekers. I thank you that the churches are filling up with people that are hungry for a true, real move of God. And all the churches, Lord, I just pray that the days of playing games, that the days of going by the numbers, a rote memory, Lord, no. I thank you, Father God, that there is a move in the church of Jesus Christ that we want a fresh 
move of God. We want a fresh experience with God. We want a fresh revelation of God. We want to touch the hem of your garment. We want to feel the brush of angels' wings. We want our eyes unveiled to see your glory. We want the house filled with the Shekinah glory of God again. We want to see fire on the altar. We want to see the dead raised, the bodies healed, blind eyes open, Lord. Miracle signs and wonders in the house of God. We want to see the sinner running to the foot of the cross, Lord. We want to see the repentant heart changed. We want to see minds renewed and lives transformed. Miracle signs and wonders in the house of God, Lord. Oh, I pray for the church of Jesus Christ. Lord, may we stop all our fussing and nonsense and get back to your word, your word, your word, your word, your word, Lord. Lord, we know that there were people that left a nation to come to this nation because they simply wanted to worship you. They simply wanted to live according to your word. Lord, I pray that that same spirit just produce a tremendous harvest. Word people, faith people, spirit people. Oh, I thank you for it, Lord. Now I pray for Grandview Church, Lord God. And I pray that we have entered in a new season that the, the supernatural, Holy Ghost, power of God is manifest in this house each and every service Lord I thank you for it I thank you for it in this service in the teen worship center Lord in the next generation building Lord in the nursery Lord sanctuary Lord Holy Ghost Holy Ghost power of God I thank you for it Lord we want nothing less than the manifest presence of God in this house thank you Lord Come on, lift your hearts with me right now. Oh, Rihanna, Maria, la ma, Rihanna, Maria, la ma, Maria, la ma, boko, Rihanna, ma, Rihanna, Maria, la ma, boko, Rihanna, ma, Rihanna, Maria, la ma, boko, Rihanna, ma, Alla Maria, la ma, Maria, la ma, Ha 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 ha, Oh, Rada, ma, Siri, la ma. I ala ma bokor, I ala ma siri ala ma si, I ala mari ala ma bokor, I ala ma. Lord God, I thank you that Grandview Church has a regional impact. Thank you, Father God, that we're touching lives for Jesus Christ right here in this region. I thank you for the Inspiration Center that's going to impact lives. It's going to teach them life skills, Lord. It's going to bring a, a blessing to this region. I thank you for it, Lord. I thank you that you are supernaturally manifesting it in the name of Jesus Christ. No lack, no limit, no loss, Lord. It's coming up out of the ground. Come on, church, agree with me. It's coming up out of the ground. That building is built, Lord. Those ministries are manifest, Lord. I thank you for it, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray for the nation. Father God, I pray for this country. We say, God bless America. Lord God, we have seen there's many divisions, deep divisions in this land. There needs to be healing. You are the healer. You're the balm of Gilead. And I pray for supernatural healing in this land in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, all the false voices, all the antichrist voices, all the, all the voices of, of deception and false prophecy and the, the, the communist, socialist, Marxist influence on this nation, Lord. I pray it collapse. Uh, it just collapses, Lord. Uh, it just loses all of its energy, loses all of its funding, that the veil is taken away. People see it for what it is, Lord. It's just Babylon. It's Babylon. It's everything that's wrong with Babylon, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for showing them to be foolish in their ways. I pray for the institutions of this land. 
And I pray for the arts and entertainment. Lord God, may they have a heart after you, Lord. I pray for revival in the arts and entertainment, Lord. May it no longer be used as a tool of deception and wickedness, Lord. But may it be used as a tool to glorify you, Father God. I thank you for that, Lord. I pray, Father God, for the media. Oh, there's so much deception in our media, Lord. I pray truth, truth, truth. I pray truth, truth, truth. Show the lying uh, and the scheming for what it is, Lord, and bring the truth to the foreground. I thank you, Father, for godly, Holy Ghost people in our media, godly, Holy Ghost people in our arts and entertainment. I pray for godly, Holy Ghost people in our technology, Lord. Father God, may our technology be dominated with the things of God, be used to glorify God. May the ownership of it be godly people wanting to exalt you, Lord. I thank you for that. And Father, I pray for the government, Lord. I pray for winds of revival to blow through our government. For those who are in political office that have a hardened heart towards you, Lord, that refuse to acknowledge the foundations of Christ in this land, Lord. I pray, Father, you either remove them from office or they fall to their knees tonight and confess Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. I pray there's not one law, there's not one law passed in this land that is influenced by the enemy. I pray that every law, every statute, every edict, every executive order glorify you Lord and only glorify you in Jesus name I thank you for that Lord I pray I thank you for a, a godly economy that's full of charity and full of giving Lord and full of godly ways Lord God I thank you that this is a prosperous nation where the people of God in this nation prosper Oh, I thank you. No lack, no limit, no loss. I thank you for that, Lord, in Jesus' holy name. And Lord, lastly, I lift up the families. I lift up the families of this nation, Lord. And I pray for strong families, loving families, Jesus-centered families, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, move mightily upon the homes in this land, that they're just filled with the Word of God, the love of God, and God's vision for each and every uh, person of the family, Lord. I thank you for it, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Let's just bless him now. Let's just bless him. We bless you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Father, you said to pray for those yes. in authority. Yes. So we start right here in Marion County, yes. Navy County, Alachua County. That's good. Come on. Because what yes. they do affects us. Mm -hmm. And so, Lord, just as my husband prayed, Lord, that all things would be done to glorify yes. you. We pray that in our schools. We pray that in our uh, city councils. We pray that in Florida. Father, Lord, that you would be honored and you would be glorified. Father, we pray for those that are in the Congress, those that are in the Senate. We pray for the governors, oh God. And we say, Lord, we all need you. They need you. May they look to you to make their decisions, I pray, God. Father, let the word of God be honored in our nation. And so, Father, we pray yes, for those Lord. in the Congress. Yes, we pray Lord. for those in the Senate. Yes, Lord. We lift up President uh, Biden to yes, you Lord. and Vice President uh, Harris to you and yes, their Lord. families. Yes. We lift them up, God. Yes, they Lord. may not do what we agree with, but, Father, we lift them up. Yes, Lord. And we ask will of God yes, come into their lives. I pray, Lord, that they would know you like they've never known you before. Oh, yes, Father, we just Thank ask you, for an outpouring of your Thank 
spirit in Washington, D.C. Yes, it doesn't matter what party. Father, everybody needs an yes, outpouring Lord. of your spirit. Yes. So we declare yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus that the word says, I look unto you yes, from Lord. which cometh our help. Thank you, Lord. And so, Lord, you, Lord, we declare you are oh, the help and you are the health yes, of yes. America. Hallelujah. And, Lord, we pray for all Thank over the Jesus. world that revival, yes. that that revival is able to go forth, not hindered. Father, we declare the gospel will not yes, be Lord. hindered in America, yes, that the word of God yes, can be yes. preached and it can be preached you, freely Jesus. in Jesus' name. Yes. Now, we thank you, Lord, that we send ministering angels yes, forth in the thank name you, of Lord. Jesus. Thank you, You Lord. go into the halls yes, of Washington. Yes, yes. You go into the halls Lord, of our communities. You go into the yes, halls Lord, of yes, our Lord. schools, Thank of our Lord. cities, and, and our Lord. counties. God, we Thank are you, looking Jesus. to you, for you Thank are the you, hope Jesus. for all you, for all people. Thank you, you are Lord. the hope yes, for Lord. all in yes, authority. Lord. You Hallelujah. are the hope. And we declare Hallelujah. that we, as children of Thank God, you, want you, to Lord. please you. Thank and you, we Jesus. honor you tonight in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And Heavenly Father, we just pray that as the Supreme Court has given us hints that they are going to overturn Roe versus Wade, Lord, we celebrate that. We pray, Father God, that that is the case indeed. And Father, that they would stay strong and stick with that, Lord, and make that known that that is now the understanding in this nation that we uh, sanctify life, Lord, from conception on through, Father. And Lord, as believers, as Christians, of course we do that. But Father, as a nation, I pray as a nation, we sanctify life in, in whatever stage of life it may be in, Lord, from the very earliest to the very elderly, Lord. We sanctify life. We treat life as precious as given to us from you, Lord. So we pray, Father, that that, that would come to fruition, the overturning of Roe versus Wade. And Lord, as, the, as there has been threat, Father God, I pray each and every state assess in their hearts, Lord, that they would not pass any law, any edict, anything, Father God, that is contrary to your will. Oh, I pray, Father God, because that would be the, the, that would be the end of that state, Lord. And, I, and Lord, I just, I just pray godly wisdom in leadership right now in Jesus' name. And then finally, Lord, Father, I, I've been shouting this for a long time, but Lord, the, the movement to silence this politically correct movement, Lord, to silence contrary voices, to call the things of God hate speech or wrong speech, Lord, where there is a, a, an attempt, there's a, just a thing going on in our nation right now to shut down opinions. Lord, Lord, undo that I pray in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus and in our school systems Lord where parents are being overruled and, and, and their children are being indoctrinated Lord reverse that I pray God reverse that I pray Lord Reverse that, I pray, Lord, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And we thank you for that. In Jesus' name we pray, and we say amen, and amen, and amen. Well, say hi to your neighbor, and tell everybody this is a good day. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen.
Well, what a great turnout tonight. And uh, believe in if you can make it to prayer tomorrow at noon or uh, tomorrow night at 730. They're going to have worship and prayer. Uh, we need to pray. Prayer moves mountains. Amen. We need to be people of prayer. Well, we want to welcome you tonight. If there's anybody here for the first time, we're so glad that you're here. Uh, you all look pretty awake and amazing tonight. Give yourself a high five. You look great. Yes, you do. Uh, praise God. And this Saturday is our men's meeting. So I, we pray that every man in Grandview Church comes and supports the men ministry. They're going to have a wonderful time, uh, great food, great fellowship. But, you know, beyond all that, I believe great impartation. Great impartation. And so, uh, women, if your spouse isn't signed up, just go ahead and sign them up and say, honey, guess where you're going Saturday morning at 830? Uh, but the men do have a wonderful time, and I'm just thrilled about what is happening there. And then on Sunday, it's uh, Mother's Day and Women of Faith here. What we do, we honor moms, but we also honor every woman, uh, regardless of children or not, because we all have a spirit, a heart to nurture, and we can be a mom to a, to a nephew, to a niece, to a neighbor. We're just reaching out and sharing the love of God and the heart that God has put in women to see that nurturing spirit come forth. And so on Sunday, we will honor moms and, and women of faith. It's going to be a fantastic day. And then on Thursday, Women with Purpose, that's our widow's ministry. They meet at 115. Amen. Do I have any slides? Um, okay, we're going to go to Shoes on the Move. All right. So, you see me there, right? Instead of Gina Holmes. Um, we talked with the Holmes, um, I think, on Tuesday. And Gina is not able to make it. So, we're going to keep it all in the house. It's going to be amazing. I think we have around 90 women already signed up. Yay. And if you're not signed up, make sure you get signed up. Uh, we will continue to meet in here because the Friendship Center can't hold us. Uh, we will dine together first, and then we will start the meeting with praise and worship. We have some great giveaways. Someone donated another $100 on Sunday. So we have $300 bills that will be given away on top of other things. And the whole theme is bling. Wear your bling. Just shine. Your earrings, bling. You know, it's all about celebrating you as a woman of faith. And uh, so for us, that's where we do our big giveaways for moms, women of faith, is at our Celebrating You uh, meeting. And so make sure you're here. It is going to be a lot of fun. And then on Sunday, after that, that would be the 15th, Gina and Pastor Ron will be with us. And so we'll get a chance to hear from them on the 15th. It's all good. Amen? All right. Are you on fire for Jesus? I heard it really good over there. Are you on fire for Jesus? Yay! Yay! The Bible says, Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord, my God, my Redeemer. And so we just say, Lord, we're on fire, and we are expecting great things. Amen? Come on, give God a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Good job, sweetie. Praise the Lord. Let them shout with joy and be glad who Amen. favor my righteous cause. Do you think God has any causes in the earth today? Yes. I know that he does. And I favor them. How about you? 
I used to be one. I, I, I was one of the causes that caused him to go to the cross, praise the Lord, who favor his righteous cause. And let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. You know, God takes pleasure in your healing. God takes pleasure in your happiness. God takes pleasure in your blessing. God takes pleasure in your peace that passes all understanding. God takes pleasure in your prosperity. Prosperity means to have a good journey. God takes pleasure in the fact that your life is a good life, a good journey in Christ Jesus. Oh, let them shout and be glad that favor His righteous cause. It says, let them rejoice or shout continually. How many of y'all got a shout on a Monday morning? How many of y'all got a shout in the midnight hour on a Tuesday night? How many of y'all got a shout before you go into the boss's office and, and he's going to give you extra work and keep you there after hours and load you up with stuff? Come on. Yeah, you do. <laughs> hey, let them shout continually regardless of what's going on because good things are happening. Amen? Ushers, come on ahead. Let's honor the Lord with our tithe and offering tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Let's hold our seat up before the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to sow good seed into good ground, and we declare this seed will produce a harvest of souls saved, bodies healed, lives changed. In Jesus' holy name we pray, and we say amen and amen. God bless you in your giving. A song declaring we belong to Jesus. He's all we need. Lift up a heart of praise. Sing now with voices straight to Jesus. Sing to the King. Come, let us sing a song. A song declaring we belong to Jesus. He's all we need. Lift up our hearts, lift up our heart of praise. Sing now with voices raised to Jesus. Sing to the Praise the Lord.